Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to check out another incredible zoo. This zoo is called Sugar Pine Zoo, and it's made by Leaf, which some of you probably know as he is a YouTuber and a great builder in Planet Zoo, but also is very well known for the mods that he creates for the game. So if you don't know Leaf yet, I definitely recommend you to check out his channel. And I will obviously make sure to put a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video, as well as, of course, this Sugar Pine Zoo Steam link. So you can check this one out yourself if you want to. Huge thank you to Lee for sharing this zoo with me so we can check this one out on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out on the channel as well, please do make sure to read all the information in the description of this video of how you can send me your zoo and who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel. Now, without further talking, let's go and check this one out because this, I don't know what it is. It, it has a little bit something cartoonish, it, something really attracts me. I do not think that you did send me any billboard. If you did, then I apologize that I read over that. Uh, but okay, let's just go in here. I absolutely love this sign, by the way. Let's let's go and ha have a look at this sign because that looks absolutely amazing. This is really cool, really well done. Okay, let's go and this should be the entrance. It's not really connected. So, oh wait, it is connected. So we could actually open the zoo and have some people walk around here. Apply like so and then we're going to open the zoo. Oh, the zoo is open. Okay, guests do not want to come in here then. <laughs> I don't know what that is. There's a spawn point. But this guest is... Uh, this this <laughs> staff member is lost. So, uh, okay, well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's something in the settings. Oh, man, just look at this. <gasps> I would never think of using the aquatic rocks like this, but I love that. Also, with these pillars from the Africa pack. That works so well, actually. So what do we have here? Oh, look, prairie dogs. Oh, this is such a cute habitat for them. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. They actually have like this path going down. Oh, look at this, that is so cool. So is there like this whole ooh, tunnel system underneath here maybe? Like where, oh my goodness, no, it goes underneath the path. Oh, <gasps> you kidding? Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. But where is that keeper's gate? I was actually expecting it to be somewhere over here. Which is not. Like, I should not look <laughs> underneath here, but I'm just curious how you did this. Where is the keeper's gate? Is it just maybe hidden somewhere? Oh, here it is. Oh, that is so smart. Oh, I really do like how you set up this this habitat. That is super inspiring. So they actually go underneath here. Oh, I love this. I also love how you added this this, this sign up here. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, so, okay, where do we go? This might be another habitat. What is this? This looks so good. Like, more like decorations, I think. Oh, wow, look at that. This is so gorgeous. Wait, is this a, a path where guests stand in? In the water? Am, am I right? What kind of habitat? Oh, this is a beaver habitat. Oh, I really love this. I'm so curious what you did here. Like, if we go... Can we go down here? Okay, we follow the path. And we go to... The splash pad. You kidding me? I've never seen anything like this. But that is so cool. I mean, kids love these things, right? Kids would, would love to just play around a little bit in the water. And then you have like this beautiful underwater viewing gallery for the beavers. Oh, I really like this. I really love the creativity here and like that is so original. 
absolutely love it. I actually am I'm thinking, like, how did you even get water here? This is a path, isn't it? Okay, well, you are in water, so may <laughs> maybe you can, like, use some mods without my PC, which is not using any mods. Like, do something in the game and then it, it will not crash my computer because I don't have the mod. I really don't know what you did here. It is actual water. I'm so confused. I I'm pretty sure that you can't wait. Okay, I need to I need to check this. It is actual. It's just, it's an actual path. Okay, okay, okay. Now now leave. You need to tell us your secrets because I am. A, oh man, I love this habitat. I am super sure that people do not know <laughs> how to do that and what mod actually um, did that. Like I. I I would love to use mods, guys. Do not get me wrong, but I, I tested it with a few, a bunch of animals a, a year or so back, and, and and the whole file just kept crashing on me. And I just do not want to take a risk with definitely not my current zoos um, that anything is going to crash, and then I just like halfway in a series or something. So I, I just don't want to <laughs> take that risk, even though there are some really great mods out there, and and I know that a lot of people have no issues at all with it. But yeah, as, as I have a running channel, I cannot just say like, oh yeah, let's download some mods for my city zoo, <laughs> which is like over eighty episodes, and then be like, oh yeah, no, sorry, mod broke your game. You're not going to be able to finish it. No, 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 it's not gonna happen. <laughs> It's not going to happen. I'm, I'm just way too worried that I will lose. Oh man, this is so beautiful. That I will lose all of my hard work. But I, I do know that there are tons of people out there that have no issues at all with it. I just hope that you guys <laughs> will understand that at this point, I, I don't want to take any risk. Oh man, this looks so gorgeous. I, I wonder what you did here. Like, is this... This is like sand and then you have a mixture with like plaster pieces here oh, it looks so breathtaking it's like super clear water and then the colors underneath there that just gives it such a realistic vibe absolutely love this also just love how you use the plaster pieces man this is so extremely good absolutely love this super creative also really do love this little bridge right over here man this is such a good habitat it really is oh, I, I can walk here for hours just enjoying it all i really really like this this little area here as well with how you added the trees Gosh, this is so creative. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, that is so good. Okay, we're gonna follow the left side here. We just came down there. I think, I don't know what it is. There's something with your color scheme and like the, the bright water and stuff that gives this whole zoo such a... A different vibe. I, I don't know why it feels like cartoonish to me. I, I, there's nothing cartoonish. I, I don't know. Maybe someone else knows what I try to say here. It's it's a beautiful color scheme. I, I, I really don't know how to explain it. It just looks amazing. That is for sure, Leaf. This is brilliant work. Also, really do like how you use all these rocks here. I, I can... Oh, there's so much inspiration here. I absolutely love how you used all these statues. This sign here as well. Hello. Wait a second. Hello. I did not download any billboards. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hopefully we're not missing out on anything. So what do we have here? There is a building. I, I, I'm not really sure if this is finished. I, I, have, I have my doubts that it might not be finished. But this on the outside looks amazing. 
Oh my goodness, this is so breathtaking. You really did such a great job as well with the sideline here. Shall I just go to the right here and see what we can find? There's a seating area. <gasps> oh, Timberwolves, Timberwolves. This doesn't look like a path. Oh man, this rock work. A combination with normal rocks. Oh my god, this is extremely good rock work. Absolutely love this with the elephant, oh, no, not the elephant grass, the African grass. And I'm not really sure how these are called. I use them. Diamond leaf willows, yes. Do those are also some stuff that I use for some parts of my zoos. I absolutely love the look of them. The rock work is incredible here. Like, I, I have a feeling like I've never seen anyone use it like this. It's really, really good. You really do such an incredible job with the rock work. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, look, you can actually go up here. Oh, I love these little peaks here. I think these are Arctic wolves. Oh man, this definitely shows you should, you should even like combine rocks more with each other normal rocks with the aquatic rocks oh my god this looks so good do we have the same game <laughs> this looks incredible this is really good leave i am amazed I love the rock work here as well. It all looks so good. Gosh, this is, again, one of those zoos that you just want to walk around in and, and just make tons of pictures for references, like how to do rock work. This is definitely a really great example. Wow. This looks so, so good. Oh my god, look at these structures. This fencing here, I love this. Is Are these the African beams? They are! Oh my god, I definitely need to use those beams more often. They- oh, come on. <laughs> come on! They look incredible! I, I think I never really used them with painting them in, in different colors, but they look incredible! This looks so well. Also, just notice the habitat again here. It looks so realistic and natural. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Really incredible work. Absolutely love this. So, oh man, more and more amazing rock work here. Oh. This is so inspiring. Really well done. Absolutely amazing. Really do love all the all the little peek throughs as well for the for sunlight and stuff. Just look at this viewing. This looks amazing. So gorgeous. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm speechless, really. Like, every zoo that we got sent in, one is even better than the other. Uh, they're all just so incredible. Oh man, I feel so honored that I'm allowed to, to, to show these zoos on the channel and, and that we can all get so much inspiration of, of, of all this incredible work that you guys are all doing. It's, it's, it's insane. What is this? Oh man, the rock work again. You are definitely the person with probably one of the best rock works in the game at this point. I absolutely love this. <laughs> just, I just, I can't, I I'm just so speechless. This is just so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, what kind of habitat is this? Oh, this might be the um. What? what, what? The <laughs> wait, what? Did I just say the Arctic fox or the other one? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, this is the Arctic fox, guys. 
the noises they make. They're so adorable. Absolutely love these guys. Uh, this looks this looks insanely good. Really, really love this. Oh, uh, look at this. Wow. That is like next level playground building. That's amazing. Really incredible. Oh, I love how you use the statues here. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Wow. I'm speechless, guys. I'm speech. Okay, wait. We're we're gonna we're gonna go this path first, and then we're gonna follow the other side. This is so beautiful. Oh, we have some reindeers here. And doll sheep. And doll sheep. This is beautiful. Absolutely amazing rock work. And just your foliage work as well is, is incredible. Looks super natural, super realistic. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, just notice this fence here. Oh, this is this looks so good as well. I, I, I for a second thought like maybe there is like this um an elephant or something on the other side. But it's not. There are bisons and pronghorns. Oh man. This looks so good as well. Absolutely. I, actually, this is the, the Arctic path, right? That looks actually pretty good like this. I, I barely use like the, the standard path and stuff, but this one actually looks really beautiful. Oh man, your foliage work, your water, your rock work. It's all so incredible. Just look at this. Really beautiful. Oh my god, it even continues here on this side. I really do like the way you use these uh, these pillars as well. And also, these fences look amazing as well. Okay, where do we go? I think I'm gonna go and follow this right side. There's a seating area. Is this more like a backstage area? No, it's not! Oh my god, look at that! What are these? Uh, saltwater crocs or the American alligator? Yes, American alligators it is. That is a really... Oh wait, we have an alligator farm here. That looks so cool. With these shaders right over here. Wait, what? I would never think of this, but this is so... Uh, uh, this, this is just so cool. I love how original this is. Absolutely love this. This is so good. All right, let's go up here. I also really love like how spacious it is. Like, I I have the always the idea to always fill it up with a lot of large trees and stuff, but I love how open it all is. And yet, it doesn't feel like plain or anything. It's still like super green and lush. Uh, oh, you can look in here. This is really beautiful. I also really love how realistic this building looks. It looks really great. Okay, we can go down here. Also, is it just me or is like the zoo made like... A little bit uphill or something. I, it feels like it. Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh my god, I love this area. This is definitely an area where I would play if I would be a kid. Oh, really do like that. I also really love this. I think it's some kind of water tower or something. Oh man, this looks so beautiful. Oh, we have a polar bear habitat here. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, I love how you implemented this theme in here. That is just great. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. Oh, there's a polar bear. Oh man, 
man, you did a really fantastic job with this as well. This looks so good. Oh, for those wondering why I'm not using like the new uh, camera mode, I um I, I I I have an issue with like holding shifts all the time to get the right speed to walk around. Like it it hurts my hands, so I just rather keep using this camera mode instead, so I uh, I don't have to <laughs> hurt my hands for that. Uh, but yeah, that is why I know it's there, <laughs> but I'm just not using it. Gosh, this looks so amazing. Also, look at this. Oh, I want to look from the top here as well. Absolutely love this design. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. We have an aviary, seriously? Oh, that is so cool. You're also still dying to see some birds in the game. <laughs> Help! We want birds! But I really do love this aviary. That looks so good. Also, this... Oh. Holy cow. These are so many small pieces. Just how? Holy cow! <laughs> the more you look at it, the more you realize how many pieces there are. Gosh, you're so creative. That is just so beautiful. Oh, I think this is the other side of the polar bears. Gosh, look how amazing this looks. I really love your style. You really have your own unique style. Like, many creators do have that, but, but you definitely have an eye for something I haven't, I've never seen before. It looks amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. The amount of details in here, it's, it's beautiful. And I just love how you combine, like, fake plaster pieces, concrete, with the nature, it it works incredibly well. Super inspiring here, definitely. Oh my god, look at this. Absolutely love this. Really incredible work. Oh my god, but now I, I do feel like, oh my goodness. This is so amazing, Leaf. Also really love the planters here, the rock work, everything, hello. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Definitely. As I said, just go, oh, can you dive for us? Hmm. I'm not really sure if diving is working today. But it, this definitely is one of those zoos where you just need to rock around, make tons of screenshots, and to figure out how everything is done. And, and then... <laughs> can use it for your own zoos for inspiration. I mean, this zoo is full of amazing little parts and little corners and, and ways how you use pieces. I, I absolutely love this. This is the alligator. I, I do think that we have seen it. No, we did not see this. Oh my god, look at that. A little train track right over here. What is this habitat for? Oh, wow. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're a puma. A cougar, sorry. Cougar! <laughs> Gosh, this is so beautiful. I love... I'm not really sure. I think these are climbable trees. So they should be able to climb this all. This looks so gorgeous, but I absolutely love how you just implement... I'm not really sure if this is actually a real track. It looks like it. Yes, it is the small steam train. You, you can just use that for decorations. Just using a little part of the track. Ugh, it's just so smart. Absolutely love this. this. This is really gorgeous. Also, really do love the building here. This looks amazing. Just look at that. It's just picture perfect. Also, really do love all these signs. I definitely need to figure out how you guys do this because it's small, it's thin. Like, uh, you and like, like, Zoof and Lighter, like the zoo that we, we, um, we watch, we, we showcase before this one. 
you all have like this eye to detail and and these incredible signs and man it's it's so inspiring absolutely love it it's gorgeous but but ah uh, yeah these signs we need to figure it out <laughs> wait okay wait <laughs> we're standing here let's go okay what kind of piece is this 2d font this is that's it 2d font noto stop okay okay guys that's it that's it it's it's 2d font <laughs> i had no idea we need to use this in our zoos guys to create these incredible beautiful signs really love it oh my god look how beautiful this habitat is as well This is so gorgeous. Really, really well done. Absolutely love it. I, I keep repeating myself. I'm sorry, but it's just incredible. It's just so inspiring. So gorgeous. I, I can just walk around here. Just look at the waterfall here. Just walk around here for hours and just enjoy how beautiful. Sometimes I, I can't believe that we're just playing a game here, guys. Frontier gave us such an amazing box of Legos to do incredible things with. I mean, just look at this. It's insane. And, and, and just notice also these bricks here. I mean, hello, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Oh, this is just insane. Absolutely amazing. Wait, this is a moose, isn't it? Oh, little lag. Yes, it is. <gasps> also really love this bridge. That looks insane. Absolutely amazing. Just look at all these little fences here. <sighs> it looks so gorgeous. <gasps> we also have seals. No, wait, first, first go and check out the moose. I actually thought that we we almost saw everything, but no, we have more amazing habitats to check out. Gosh, this looks really beautiful. It really does. Wait, are these mountains you made yourself? Only now just noticed. Wow, that's so smart. Okay, okay, okay. Seals. We love seals. Also love this sign here. Absolutely love this. Also, really, really love this fence here. Oh man, I really like this this fence. I, I'm so gonna steal that from you. Gosh, look how just it looks so realistic. It looks so beautiful. Too bad that these seals are well, being seals, not moving that much. <laughs> Ah, oh, you even have a, an underwater view. Okay, wait. We're just gonna step. <gasps> wait. Oh no, you don't have. Oh, but man, what what kind of wood did you use for this? The wooden arm. Oh, you really? That's like the one set that you cannot. Like the animals cannot climb. Not that you really need it. But that's why I know these pieces. But coloring them this uh, this way, man, that is so smart. I never would have thought of that. Wait, we have been here. Yes, we've been to that side. Actually, I didn't notice that this is the uh, the gray seal habitat. All right, let's go back. Oh no, we did not. No, this is the moose, yes. Okay, oh no, we have, no. We did see it. Okay, let me just quickly check to be sure 100% that we did not miss out on any animals. No, unfortunately. We have seen it all, but man, you are all amazing with these zoos. Leave, you are absolutely so talented. I absolutely loved checking out the zoo. Thank you so, so much for sending this, sending this zoo to me, uh, for, for checking it out on the channel. Really do appreciate it. You definitely did do something because, like, everything is just such a perfect place here I, I i cannot get over it it it's 
it, it is all going up a little bit, I think. It, it's, it's just picture perfect. It has something cartoonish, doesn't it? I don't know, tell me. <laughs> well, how else do I explain it? it it's like, like a beautiful card that you, you send to someone. It's the colors, it, it, I'm, I'm speechless. Definitely one of the, well, I keep saying it, but definitely one of the best zoos we have seen on the channel. And, and you guys keep sending me amazing zoos. It's, oh, I love it. So inspiring. So thank you all so much for watching. Do leave something nice or leave in the comments down below. And obviously do not forget to check out Leafish channel as well. I will make sure to put the link in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section. Please do make sure to check out Leaf with this inspiring and amazing sugar pine zoo. Absolutely loved it. Thank you all so much for watching and do let me know of course what you all think of sugar pine zoo. Leave a like and video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!